The news organizations defended Paladin, saying if that book can be censored, what's next? ABC News? This broadcast? Against Paladin's wishes, its insurance company settled the suit. It paid several million dollars, and Paladin quickly pulled Hitman from the shelves. The fact that someone was able to buy the book Hitman and then kill is almost coincidental. How many people have committed murder and assassinations without reference to a book like Hitman? It turned out that Hitman's author was revealing no secrets about being a Hitman. In fact, she was just winging it. Hitman claims to be written by a professional assassin named Rex Farrell. Not true. It's written by a housewife. And where did she get most of the information? Off television. <laughs> That's right. She researched the book by watching detective shows. The uncomfortable fact is that even if the government banned Hitman and other books, the information would still be out there, unbannable. The explosives and weaponry detailed in Benson's books are found in library books, encyclopedias, magazines, survivalist literature, and newspapers. One convicted bomber says he found the makings of his bomb in the Reader's Digest. Well, good grief. Here's instructions on how to make a rifle out of wood blocks and plumbing pipes. Here's one on how to make a homemade grenade. And here's what it is. Department of the Army Improvised Munitions Handbook. One of the best books in the world for learning how to blow things up. Available to everyone from the government printing office. I'm not providing anything that couldn't be uh, uh, acquired in another place. Especially on the Internet. Within hours of the Oklahoma City bombing, an Internet user posted a description of the kind of device used. Censorship can't keep things like this under wraps anymore because of the Internet. It can't really be censored. Police could shut down one site or a hundred and block this or that channel, but there are millions of pathways. One site based in another country could still reach every computer in America. And what can be acquired is pretty amazing. When Nate Ciccolo was 15, he thought for a science project, he'd try to find out how to build an atomic bomb. You just sort of mentioned, you know, you can go on the Internet now and get information. And I sort of wasn't exactly up to date on things. I went on there and a couple of clicks, and I was right there. Finding the information was easier than he'd ever imagined. He didn't have plutonium, thankfully, but he built a paper mache model that was dead-on accurate. I just carried it out these front steps carried it on my shoulder and walked right to school with an atomic bomb on my shoulder. And the government's passing laws to censor books? In the age of the Internet, it won't matter anymore. Found 563 web pages simply for atomic bomb. The cork is out of the bottle. Some final thoughts about speech and liberty when we return. Stay up with us. Our crime team has the latest on the dangerous jail escapee on the run for two days. Plus, a robbery is trapped on tape. Could you help catch the robbers? And find out why this man made TV history on ABC tonight at 10. Life has its bumps, but you don't have to feel them. Now Midas Gold Struts with R2 technology are only $59.95 each with a lifetime guarantee. Go smoothly. Go Midas. Why choose Transitions lenses? L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. B is very, very extraordinary. E is even more of what you adore. Transitions lenses, the choice for comfort, UV protection, and the versatility of a variable tint that changes as the light changes. The choice you'll love. Call 1-877-4-TRANSITIONS. At ERA, we believe real estate isn't just about property. It's about people, understanding their needs, doing whatever it takes. It's helping the Perez family get a mortgage for their first home, then finding their movers, home warranty, even their home security system. It's giving the Simpsons an online profile of neighborhoods and school systems and helping them make sense of it all. Every time we help someone buy or sell a home, we help write a new chapter in their lives. ERA Real Estate. $20 saved buying cowboy boots online. $25 overpaid on international shipping. 
If you're not offering your customers global priority mail from the U.S. Postal Service, they're paying too much. So offer it and keep them coming back. What's your global priority? When you buy a bargain PC, what you're really buying is a mystery box. Is the processor up to date? Who knows? Is the internet included? Doubt it. How about a free color printer? Don't bet the ranch. With a Gateway Essential PC, you'll know you're getting the best computer for the money. Call 1-800-GATEWAY and get a Gateway Essential PC with an Intel Celeron processor, a year of AOL, and now a free color printer for $999. That should take away the mystery. This Saturday at Sears, something you want is on sale. Guaranteed. Take 10% off practically everything, even sale prices, during our huge customer appreciation sale. Yep, the whole store is yours. So is the sale. And you can't miss that. Saturday at Sears. You can't say that. What's happening to free speech continues. Here again, John Stossel. In America today, a dangerous new commandments appeared. Thou shalt not hurt others with words. This is a terrible idea. It's a threat to liberty and even science. Government repeatedly has tried to stop speech in the name of protecting someone from hurt. The government tried to restrict speech that opposed slavery on the grounds that it was incendiary and that it was offensive. The government tried to restrict speech that promoted contraception on the grounds that it was obscene and indecent and pornographic. The government tried to restrict speech uh, uh, that was pro-labor and that was pro-socialist, that was pro-communist. Free speech is most important when protects the speech we hate. America's prospered because despite occasional censorship, we are a relatively open society. No authority was allowed to decide which ideas were permissible. We argued often viciously until we reached a consensus. That's a good thing. Openness gave us vaccine. This was a crazy idea protecting people from disease by injecting them with a little of that very disease? In France years ago, thousands died because authorities said this was against God's will. America was the first to develop the atomic bomb because the Nazis banned Jewish physics. To explore relativity, Einstein had to come to a free country. It's a leap from science to laws against hate speech, but the principle's the same. In an open society, if we're to argue our way to the truth, then speech must be free. So the answer to hate speech is not speech codes, it's more speech. Yet there will always be an impulse to censor. If we give in to that impulse, we are giving to the bigots the gift of our freedoms. If you give in, what you're saying is freedom is less important than not being offended. What a disaster for a country whose soul depends upon liberty. That's our broadcast for tonight. Stay tuned to Nightline after your local news. I'm John Stossel. Good night. You can chat with John Stossel online at abcnews.com immediately following this broadcast at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the Oscars Sunday right here on ABC. This year we're doing the show in 15 minutes. On it! Billy Crystal hosts the Oscars live Sunday on ABC. You're watching KOCO TV 5, Oklahoma City. Now, live, local, late breaking. This is...